guys, it's Amy, and if you guys have watched some of my past few videos, you guys will know that I actually did a haul on my doll's clothing, the store-bought ones and the clothing that I created. I did a haul on that, and then I actually have a lot of those clothes that are actually in really bad condition, so I'm supposed to fix those clothes up. Some of them are ripped, some of them are not really fitting her or something like that, so it's a bit loose or something. So today I'm going to be fixing all those clothes, and if you guys haven't watched that video, it will be linked down below in the description box, so go check that out first, because if you guys don't know what I'm talking about right now, check that video out, you'll get a lot of information in that. So today I'm going to fix all my doll's clothing that were ruined and I'm going to make them more new so that they fit her and they're not ripped anymore and super pretty. So yeah, here are today's announcements. So I'm posting, when I'm posting every video on my discussion tab and I have a new shout out to every single video. So all you have to do to enter it is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and comment done on my recent discussion post and you might be entering the shout out. So stay tuned for that. But now let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So guys, here are all the clothes I'm supposed to be fixing. There are quite a lot of clothes and the video will be linked down below when I did my clothes, my doll's clothing haul in which I have all of the clothing. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because is it this video is just gonna let you guys know how I work with stitching and getting you and you guys will be getting to know me a lot more better in stitching because this is my first um, video for stitching because I haven't done anything like sewing related on my channel so this will just let you guys know how I work with clothes and how I make them by fixing them up so that you guys will know like how I work with it, if that makes any sense but as you guys can see I'm fi fixing some clothes now and um mostly i actually used all i actually use hot glue for all of these but you can even use like basic stitching material as well i'm just gonna use um thread and needle and needle and thread for one of them because some of the projects can't be done with the hot glue but um i was really too lazy to do it so i just went with hot glue and hot glue is a lot more easier and a better alternative than um stitching but the problem with hot glue is that it comes out a lot so stitching is a lot more like faster and stuff and i make all of these by hand by the way so no like sewing machine or something like that so that was my doll's um <coughs> sorry that was my doll's night suit it's her pjs which is super cute and then now i have this super cute and pretty blue uh tank top it's not a really tank top it's like a top and i have frills on it so the thing i'm supposed to do is for half of my clothing the, the little it's fraying a little bit so i'm supposed to cut the fraying off most of those clothing because this material is really fit as well and then i mean even supposed to fix those little little back tie up thingies if I, that makes any sense and then cut all those fraying up and then even do the velcro because with hot glue the problem is that the velcro keeps on coming off for all of my clothing which is super annoying so i'm supposed to fix all of them up so yeah but this is how the finished top turned out it is super cute and pretty and actually messed up i was making this top because of the little uh fraying thingy the little frills i actually hot glue them on the front side and put them on the back side so i was debating whether or not i should put a strip over there and i decided not to it would just be so much too much work but that was a complete result and now here's my next skirt this is like the really easiest of them all it's just a really plain skirt and i just use jeans to make these and the reason the thing i'm supposed to do is cut out the fraying again and this skirt doesn't really look so pretty right now like it's just a piece of cloth and then you're supposed to fix the velcro for this skirt i tried to stitch the velcro when i first made it and it was super hard because the velcro was really thick and i was keeping hurting myself and even like broke like five needles already so yeah but this is the finished skirt and it doesn't look so pretty but i think it's fine um and i was debating to put a velcro on the bottom as well to secure it a little bit more i just decided not to so now this is my next um thing i'm supposed to fixing it is this indian wear um if i guys show it to you in my uh i don't know if i did show you guys in my haul because i think i made this after i filmed the haul video but that is basically like a skirt in an indian outfit and the problem with that is that it is transparent so the cloth is really little so you can three see through it and it wasn't looking so pretty so i decided to get this old fabric out which was blue and i thought it would suit perfect because when you wear it the pattern will show a little bit and that's gonna be better too and if i use a different color it's gonna show so i just went with this blue color it's really like 
thick and that's what i like about it so what i did i just hot glued a piece to the back it looks really weird from the back it looks kind of like a i don't know like a blanket or something like that <laughs> folded but this is how the finished product turned out i love this now because it is a lot more easier to wear and it doesn't show through any much anyways and the pattern uh shows through which is really cute too because it's blue and yeah so for that one I actually did a mistake as well for the velcro I, I attached it on the wrong sides and i was debating to fix that too but i guess it's totally fine now so the next one is this super cute little tube dress which i made out of my uh, skirt which is super cute even has elastic on top but the problem with this is that the elastic is coming out really loose so i want to like fix the elastic up a little bit because it kind of like falls down on my doll so first what i try to do is i cut it off and then i try to slit the little elastic thingy through the other loop which wasn't really working out so i decided to cut a little bit more and then attach both of those so that it would be a bit more tighter if that makes any sense i'm really bad at explaining i'm really sorry about that but this is the finished product how it turned out and it's super pretty it's a lot more tighter i haven't tried it on my doll yet but hopefully it fits her and it's not too tight so the next top is the super cute aloha top it is super cute like this is like crop top and it's so cute i can't i'm really obsessed with the colors as well and the design on this the problem with this the only problem is that um the velcro i actually didn't use velcro i used like buttons for it i have to fix that up and then there were i actually used some green um um thread which was really showing a lot so i just put some hot glue on it and then double doubled it and sticked it so the green wouldn't show and that's the best i could do and if you guys notice the sleeve over there i actually <laughs> was running out of fabric a little bit so the sleeve turned out really horrible but i think it's fine and then now the green is um off again so the green is not showing anymore which is a lot more better now so i just love this top so much it's like my favorite top the next one is like the hardest of them all i tried to sew pants by myself and it did work out actually i actually have a little real elastic because i use like my own pants just do it and the problem with this with that like the thread is coming out a lot because i did this hand sewn because i thought hot glue wouldn't work so well but the thread was coming out a lot especially when i like where i attached the two pants together that one the two parts of the pants that's where it is coming out and then i just went with the hot glue which i think i did a really big mistake because when i attached the two parts of the pants it's looking really weird now i haven't tried on my doll so hopefully it doesn't show that much but when you look at it like this it doesn't look so pretty hey guys that is it for today's video i actually did a lot of her clothes and i'm super excited how the end result turned out and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i wanted to do this video so that you guys get an idea of how i actually like make clothes and some of the clothes by fixing them so you guys will know like get an idea to know me better in sewing so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell to notify every time i post a new video bye see you next time so guys this week's shout outs goes to these people on the screen thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and i really appreciate it Bye.